mystery plush unboxing from Australia. This is a video by Orange Hedgehog 2012. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Orange Hedgehog 2012 and in this video today I'm going to be doing a very special plush unboxing video. So if you like unboxing videos then yeah stick around and I'll show you guys my recent purchases for my birthday. So this was something that I bought myself um, in celebration of my birthday which uh, recently passed and um, yeah, I got these from Australia, as you can probably tell by the sticker, the white one there. I got these guys exactly a week ago, and funny enough, um, just to give you a quick uh, interesting story, backstory about um, these items here. Um, I intended to get these items last year, um, back in the summer, in 2014. Um, but yeah, for some reason um, it didn't happen. And um, I finally got a second chance to obtain um, these very special plushies. So these are part of a set. Um, you can only get these from Australia. So you probably guessed by now what these are. If you don't, then stick around and I'll show you guys what I picked up for my birthday. So without further ado, let's get stuck in and open this bad boy up. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to seeing these in person. Finally, these have probably taken about a year, yeah, just over a year or so now to get a hold of these. And I finally am so happy and grateful to actually, you know, able to get an opportunity a second time round to obtain these. So as I mentioned before, these were part of a set um, back in the 90s. I won't give too much away, but I think most of you have guessed by now what these are. So let's open this box up. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's really, I don't know if these are, I've got these from Ikea for some reason. And yeah, I think these are like a pair of scissors come bottle open or something. So yeah, they're not the most comfortable of scissors. And I've just noticed I've actually cut myself, which is a first uh, for one of my videos. Yeah, so ugh, whatever. So what I'll do is, might be best if I try and position the camera a bit better. Bring this down. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that's so annoying. I've actually cut myself. Um, yeah, I doubt if you want to see that. That's, that's pretty nice. I'm going to see how this goes, whether it's going to be really awkward to open up on camera. Because I can actually get this open or smoothly as possible without come on you there we go that's one side done and lastly we've got the other side and there should be here we go got a little bit more to go do this level actually I don't want another accident happening all right so that should be it let's check the nope do the other side should be okay actually nope right put that away and there we have it. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go and clean myself up because it wasn't very pretty. So right, let's open this out a bit more. Hold this over a bit more. Might be best actually if I ring it round. But then again, they're the same length anyway. Okay, so just to give you a quick look. And let's first start off with this. I'm going to take all the other ones out. 
show you the first one. Nothing else in the box, as you can see. It might be best actually if I just use the scissors. Good old sharp scissors, shall I say. Should do that. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is to damage it. Now, hopefully, this should be. Yep, it looks like the large version. So first up, I've got the, what shall I say, I have the large Sega World Sydney uh, Dr. Robotnik plush. Let's bring this camera up a bit more. Try and reposition it. That's, yeah, I think that's pretty much how I'm going to get this as perfect as possible. Excellent. So if I move that out the way, just checking him over. Um, yeah, I had a pretty good idea. He didn't have his um, touch tag and stuff. He's not in perfect condition. He does have some damage, a couple bits of damage. But I've been mean to get hold of these guys. Just to give you an idea, I will do at some point on this video measure these guys up. But um, to look at him, he's in pretty good nick. He does have um, some bobbling here and there. His um, tash tag had been cut off over the years. Um, but apart from that, he's in really good nick. He's got a couple of areas of damage particularly um, on the back he's got some loose here and there but that can be easily sort of sewn up so that's no biggie really cool to have in my collection and I'm sure that that might be an ink mark but apart from that Really cool. That's the large Sega World Sydney Dr. Robotnik plush there. Try and get him to sort of... There we go. He'll probably topple over anyway. But yeah, that's Dr. Robotnik. I'm going to leave that one to last because that is my favourite out of the set. Now, unfortunately, the seller didn't have... Um, the seller originally did have tails... Uh, which I was after, but unfortunately she sold him to somebody else. But I'm really glad that he went to a good home because it's somebody, um, one of my friends. So, Liz, you know, I'm glad he's gone to a good home and, you know, someone who will appreciate him. So it's no biggie. Um, but yeah, this one, I think I've pretty much complete the set. The Robotnik and the Sally. There is one I would like to get another small one because the one I do have is pretty screwed up which was my own fault to be honest so last one well, last I should say last then I did oh wow that's so cool I have the large what I might have to do is actually lean her up against the Robotnik let's, have, let's see if I can do that Robotnik. If I lay her down and get a bit of good look. Awesome. So I got the large Sega World Sydney um, Sally Acorn plush. Just to give you an idea. Same again, she's not in perfect blimey. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm really awkward. I'm trying to sort of balance this on a um on a box um but yeah really cool really you know glad that she does have her jacket and she seems in really good nick nice and soft first time i've actually seen these guys in the large versions um eyes are in really good nick actually there's very little scratches there are some surface scratches and some of the um the transfer has come off but i'm really glad that she does have her jacket which is really cool. I think all these plushies um, don't have their original touch tags, but that's no biggie because, to be honest, the touch tags, 
they're not really that they're nothing special to be honest as you can see um there has been uh at one point in her life mm. she does have some damage that she's been sewn up that's okay apart from that really cool i keep knocking the camera oh dear so let's be awkward that's the back of her hair back of her jacket her tail and her really long legs really cool okay so that's sally there i might try and get robotnik to uh sit up again yeah, this is going to be awkward i'm going to try and no you're not try try not to pause the um the camera so much so i've got robotnik there and then sally there really nice looking plush there we go hopefully they won't topple over and lastly in the set i got my absolute favorite i still like those you know i still like the other characters they're really cool and unique but my all-time favorite it looks like he's going to need a bit of a clean up which is no problem and he is quite well loved actually oh wow absolutely love this plush this is probably my favorite styled um plush ever out of the sonic franchise he's a bit grubby but i'm sure he can be cleaned up and that is the large sega world sydney sonic plush really cool to have in my collection this guy i'm going to be keeping as a um a plush that i can sort of like keep outside of the cabinet because i do have another one um but he's kept behind glass but as you can see he does have some marks on him which is no biggie his eyes aren't on you know they're not in perfect condition as you can see they do have quite a lot of damage on them but you can tell that this was the um, previous owner's favorite plush really cool his touch tag would originally i think most of them would have been on one of these legs absolutely love them okay so just to give you an idea on the size of these plushies i have my seven inch uh, sonic version absolutely adorable you can see by my hand how small he is and also how white his gloves are now this one is pretty much brand new apart from the fact that he's not tagged or anything he still has his original touch tag and this is what i mean by the actual touch tags it's nothing nothing special really about the touch tags there's no sega logo on them or anything it's just like um sort of like a some some type of sort of plastic um and if i go back a bit you just have that and then literally you've got this quite large tag and then you just got essentially trademark and copyright 1997 sega absolutely large tag with um tiny sort of writing but yeah that's the um the small seven inch sonic absolutely adorable i love these guys they're so cute and um yeah just to give you an idea um on my i think it's 16 inches or so sonic and you can see how much he's been well loved i can't get him all in um in shot i might have to sort of sit him down i don't think he can support his own weight without toppling over so as you can see there we go um yeah what i might do very quickly is if i lay the large sonic down and then put my other one next to it you'll get an idea of how these guys once were in terms of color so you might be able just be able to see there how white the um 
how white he once was. This guy could do with a bit of clean up as you can see he's a bit grubby in some places. So if I just move a little of Sonic up there you can see yeah as you can see there so he's been very well loved he was the previous owner's favourite plush and I will mesh this guy very quickly but I think he is about 16 inches tall and yeah yep he's 16 inches tall so large ones measure about 16 inches tall and I'll show you quickly the actual features what I actually do is um, lay him down so you can actually see his shoes if I flip him over it's coming up a lot uh, on camera a darker blue but to look him it's like a, he's, he's a um, almost like a faded sort of blue as you can see his quills his back quills his tail his glove he doesn't have his original um, touch tag he's really cute though love these uh, type of plushies okay so that's Sonic there and as for Sally she's a lot lighter compared to Sonic and I'll measure her very quickly she might be a bit bigger actually compared to whoop, Sonic oh probably about the same size from her ear she measures, measures exactly 16 inches tall I think I've shown you um, her features she does have sort of like a a mouth there and a, a tongue her nose which is plastic uh, same with her eyes you've got sort of synthetic material and there's a little feather on her eye there the um it's weird actually because the actual brow to her not brow her um eyelid shall I say is very loose which is quite interesting so you've got her hair her very long legs and her boots which is that sort of unique uh, sort of polyester um, material, almost like shell uh, suit material. A tail, really cool. I put Sally there with um, with Sonic. And lastly, we have Robotnik. And I think he's going to be the same size. So just measure him up very quickly. Get that back into focus. So yeah, it seems the larger ones measure about 16 inches tall. Yep, yeah, same again, he measures 16 inches tall. So the large ones measure 16 inches tall. Medium, I would say about 12 maybe or so, 12, 13. And the small uh, versions measure around about 8 inches tall. So, yeah. I don't think you can stand Robotnik, but um, whether he stays in that position is another thing. Show you quickly. Try and get as close up as possible without him toppling over I'll show you quickly his his teeth his moustache his eyes plastic this one's got to be a bit like an ink mark on it but I think yeah with my nail it's starting to come off so 
that will come off. Um, as for damage, I have noticed it does have a few bits of damage, especially there. Also on his back there, there's some... I can sort of lift his arm a bit, his arm a bit there. And also, as you can see, there. But I'm sure that it could be sewn up. Apart from that, I, I can't see any other damage, really. I've noticed his right foot is really weird. So, yeah, that's it guys um i thought i'd show you unbox and showcase my newest additions to my collection that's the large sega World sydney plushies of robotnik sally and sonic so i think i'm closing in on the you know completing the the sets the all three the small medium and large um sets the only ones i have left now to get hold of is a medium sonic and a small um, Sally if I can and that's about it really I have the complete sets so yeah I will be doing a review on these guys in the near future so you know keep your eyes peeled for that guys but as always thank you so much to everybody that subscribed to my channel please feel free to check out my Facebook and Twitter page that's Orange Hedgehog 2012 all the links as always will be down below in the description box and as always guys, take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. This has been Orange Hedgehog 2012. See you later guys.